back into this game, so the opportunities need to come from them. Silence! Haste! Not a charge. Artizi moving on to the Spirit Breaker here. Only oh, scary for Artizi here, don't forget. No flyback yeah. available on him. The charge through once again. Collapse. He is taking damage here, but they managed to get the connection on onto RTZ. Can it though? It's not really massive. And now they're refreshing a Taurus, the one kind of losing. Oh my god, the post from the sidelines. RTZ is gone. Team Spirit, they get the carry. Can they do it without him? They've taken down Crit as well. Collapse trying to fight up with Arbed here. The post from the sidelines just blasting out the impetus. Low with the ultra kill. Moving on to Saberlight. Saberlight trying to do what he can, but there's nothing left in the tank. Centaur's gonna drop a rampage for Lal to finish off this game. Sure, the buyback died for, but the BKB got used on Faceless Void. And then the rest of them are just allowed to run around and, and do whatever because they don't have the threat of the Chronosphere. They don't have the threat of the Chaotic Offering. And now they're kind of on the back foot. Like, look at this Lala. Oh, he doesn't have BKB yet. Ramses. And yeah, he's going to try to run, but they've got the Terrorize. You've got a charge coming in. There's only so much that your team can do for you. He's just dead. And now Yathra. All right, the Avalanche slows down just a little bit, but he's got his eyes on Solo. He's going to rip him apart. Uh, Yato diving easily here, has the life steal as well, even got the Manta style Dyer's ready, so he's just attack. diving in, and even if there's a buyback on the faces void, he's not going to have ulti. Miera jumping forward, sees Miera, just pushes him back a little bit. They'll use the fortification, they drop the bubble over on top as well. But they sell this ages for another 20-something seconds, and they're making the most of it right now. Taris throw back over onto the Spirit Breaker. They'll end up getting a kill. This is not looking great, though, now for Miero. He is getting stuck over here on the side. They're trying to give support onto Yato. He is godlike. And Taris, next on the list for just absolute destruction. My god. Turning into Matthew. Matthew. That's when we get to play out the game. See if they can pull that off. A triple stifling dagger coming out as well. Throwing out bashes, Whoa. throwing out damage, collapse, two man call. That is perfect. Double mystic flare coming up as well. Skyrim as doing work. Matthew's dead. Immediate fireback. Look at the punch. He's getting destroyed. Yatoro takes him out, moves across towards Sea Smell. He's gone as well. You fail to find the Phantom Assassin, and you are going to have a bad time. Lal jumping in now as well. Trying to get on top of the pesky bristleback. Call comes through. He stuns him up for the time being. But the moment. Oh, oh my goodness. The front stone. It almost keeps him alive. But not quite in the end. He does get out and Panda falls as well. Everybody dead on the side of the He does. The Invis, they just dropped that Sentry Ward down. They see him immediately. Yadaro, Currents, they already got the Hex. And now the dead shot, the Silence, the Chase, that Vision, but turns it. Lotus Orb keeps him alive. Notice, gets stunned back on himself. Catches him there with the Anchor. Collapse, still wants to bring down Notice. The fight off to the side. Can they find any more? He's dropping lower, but they get Notice out of trouble. They have a Scythe coming on Collapse's Courier as well. It's on its Dyer's way. Middle Dark Willow, Mira in far. They have great vision, though. Ogre Seal Totem looking forward, catches only one with the fear. Now, Kiritit shows up, finds Mira immediately onto him. Yadaro dies, but the Cataclysm, the damage, it's almost enough, and it is! Squadix assembles the Aeon Disc, but the stun is going to be there. On to three, one of them up, and now the Hex onto both of them. Connection, the fear, starts to fall lower and lower and lower. They're going to throw out all their damage, but it's not enough to take down Yadaro. Yadaro, Yadaro standing tall, streaming forward, finding another kill. He backs out Squad X and Kiritich. They got to get out of here. There's only a couple left, and they can oh, the Anchor run down. They connect onto him. Anchor down, leashed up, starting to fall. Kiritich nowhere else to go as the tornado is going to kill him all. Laro with the triple kill. They get the dead shot connection. Now, last tier three tower alive, stepping forward onto Notice, down to half HP, Kiritich jumps forward, starts to bring him low, will it be enough? No, the Terrorize is there, they have their answer. Fear pushes back Yadaro, but the stun, the Ravage, the Cataclysm times two! It's too pretty, double Ravage, double Kata, keep looking for more. Notice is about to fall again, he's gonna come back in a green light, but then there's not a whole lot left in the tank. Maposhka still hasn't been hit, that is Mega Creeps. Team Spirits, the favorites coming in, a triple kill as they taunt their way towards the victory. Not a whole lot left for Virtus Pro. They have looked so good this entire time. GG is finally called. Team Spirit. They did not lose a game leading up to today, and Virtus Pro did push them to the limit.
But Team Spirit came out on Liquid Satanic. Well, this is now what they want to do. For Nisha. Radiant go. are scanning. Will they find each other though as Roche? We can see we'll be up in the first tanky second. Here. As shield room, he's going to get the initiation up onto the spend with the Sunray coming in for the egg as well. This Nisha looking for the RP potential. He's going to be able to skewer a couple away. Stormbuck will follow. There's the right click to command, but McKay's extremely low. He will fall. The anchor comes out along with the Ravage as well. But that's a dead Nisha. Already two cores dead for Liquid. And this is looking very, very bad for them as Zai stuck between a bunch of brambles will eventually be brought down as well. Three for nothing, make it four as that chop potentially brings this game to an end as Insania onto the high ground. They can group up together okay. and attack. take this fight. Yatoro just time-lapsed to the fountain and back to get his BKB. He will not have time-lapse for this fight because I don't need it. Overgrowth with the three-man core! It's looking beautiful, Yatoro's right in there with his fresh BKB. Delay the damage in these cores. Once again, Ace has no chance with the bear. And of course the Beastmaster's gonna lock down that ball. You're not going anywhere, Quinn. They're gonna catch more. Tofu's gonna be the last one down to Rachu only survives because of his TP. Everything in this game. I mean, Mira's quite farmed. Oh, yeah. You're talking about a high ground break mechanism. They really get in a stalemate and need it. He's going to kick someone out. And Yator just runs straight into them. Pops his BKB, turns around. Oh, man, that damage is just building up so quickly. Quinn's got it in instant. So is the bear. Duraccio battling up against Laurel. But the big bad boss of the, the fight is definitely Yatoro. And once he turns it's his over. eye on a hero, it disappears. Over. Game over for this one. The team spirit uh, making absolutely no armor room. He's so much. What shield he's got. Maposha is just going to stay hidden here. Charge canceled by the Spirit Breaker. Rolling Thunder very far away. He's just going to nip in from 3,000. Yeah, because at any point in time, the Spectre can join him as soon as he gets that initiation. But they don't quite catch him. The Ice Blast is going to be stretched out. Yutoro may see an opportunity to turn this around. Yeah, he's going to go for Duraccio here with the Snowball to hit the down. There's so many heroes. They dispel out the Phantasm, but Yutoro himself, he will bring down. He will use his own hand to take down the enemy carry. Now looks to finish up these Brulings if possible. Last one is gonna die. Double kill for Yatoro, and they turn back for Celery. Take away from Quinn. He cannot afford to get caught here, but he doesn't have a TP. If he gets spotted, oh, Uh oh. Quinn's gonna be in for a rude awakening in a second. Here he just needs his blink up, and he gets hit by the Dipjo. Swash will go to the side, but they have the silence on him. The ghost remains with Quinn. He tries to go for a roll up play, but he's got nowhere to roll away to. TP back. Stuck at the corner, gets some good damage from Swashbuckle. Yep, too, too many heroes. Really nice scan to finish up that fight, and I mean. A little over He may there. die every once in a while, but he says, you know, ultimately the end game is okay with me. We're still getting some good trade offs in fights. I'm still going to try and limit your split push by going on you wherever you can. Doesn't want to let him get away with a tier two for free. KP, they stick nice. on top of him with the silence and the stuns. It's enough. Quinn is stunned up for so long. And now Tofu is going to be in some trouble as well. He pops his ultimate. That just kind of delays things a little bit, but there's no one coming to save him. If you're getting multiple ink souls off in these fights, it's probably going to win you the game. Engagement. And right now you're staying outnumbered at a tier two. You overextended on Courier will die as well. For the Midas's to go to work, right? Yep, they have yep. been cranking this whole time and climbing the charts. This game is a 1k net worth lead now at 32 minutes. Dead even. Everything depends on these team fights. Collapse is the right kind of initiation here. A charge oh that hits God, both damage. supports. <laughs> Quinn. On the run here, they immediately jump after him. Laurel chasing after him with that charge to be able to slow him down. Yeah. He's not going anywhere. Three dead on the side of Gaming Gladiators and Team Spirit have changed. They've already popped their BKBs and are resetting a little bit. Celery, he's going to try and walk back into this fight. He's got to be careful, though. He may get caught by Collapse. He spots him. Down the and ace again. The tower. Yeah, that ace and apparition is gone. No more ice blast for you to be able to use. Ace has to use his ultimate. He knew the Atoro was gunning for him there. And he could have been chain stunned up. Now they back away. Primal Split being used. If they can get everybody out, it's a dream for Team Spirit. Collapse is making that momentum though. Pushed back by the Void Panda. Now hit by the Orkin. If they can kill Collapse, that'd be great. But he has so many dispels and so many heals. Mira's jumping in. Goes for the back line. The Pango's been caught. And Yatoro. He destroys him so instantly. Now turns his damage on to Duraji. Oh, the back by Collapse. A charge on through. Tofu. He just managed to get the force staff down to low ground. Does get a dead shot on to Collapse. And he's still pretty damn healthy. And they can't turn this one around. It is it's all Team Spirit, and they will feast on the Brewmaster last.
team fight decision making just off the charts here. I mean, the kiting dealing with the ult, they just make it look way too easy right now. And so many charges going through from Collapse. He is looking for the high five and he will get it. He laps out every time. There's a Lincoln's, there's a Swell, there's Four Staff's Grave. Coral's gonna take his chance to push. First down, oh man! Before you can even complete the sentence, he's already gone. They do have an Ice Blast, though. They're pretty well positioned. Jirachio's already cleaned up the Grim Stroke. It's not too bad, but Jirachio, he needs to get out of there. It's, oh my god, that's so much. Five after it's the too Spectre. much damage. Spectre has to win this now. But he has to have to get that something. Dazzle. They have to be able to take away this Aegis at the bare minimum. Surely they have to go for more. They have to risk it. The lap's going to charge on through to make sure you can't set up on Yutora. Now Yutora will turn back around on you. He's ready for that fight. He pulls back into Durachio. This could be it for Gaming Gladiators. And let's find a way out of it. Quinn's dead next. Now Durachio, a dive back for him. He falls. Tofu's pulled back in. He is pulled to his death, down into his grave. Quinn, last man standing for Gaming Gladiators. This is a long due victory for them over the course of this year. They've built up to it. And for two times... The second time in the Dota's history, Team Spirit will claim the ages. Team Spirit win the international.